Okay, I know a lot of you out there are picking up brass at the range, but some of you are going to buy some new brass. And I have some 3030 brass here. This brand new, unprimed, and ready to go. Or so you might think, which is not true. Um, for some reason, new brass isn't always quite the same. Now I'm looking at a piece right here that's brand new, and the mouth is deformed on it. When you get brand new brass, you're going to want a full length resize each and every one and trim it because they're not exact. They're just punched out of the machine and thrown into a box. I'm going to take some close ups of this and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, here's four examples. I just pulled this out of the box, just grabbed four and went with it. These four pieces of brass are brand new and unfired. Look at this guy here. This guy's a mess. This is the reason why, and there's a big misconception that new unfired brass is perfect. It is not. This stuff comes out of the box in all different kinds of conditions. Dents, shoulders aren't fully formed, and you want to run it through your full length sizing die and trim it. And then fire form it. And I think you will find, and it's been true for me over the years, that brand new brass doesn't produce the kind of groups that my once fired brass does. My once fired brass makes much better groups. And that's because you're not expending so much energy trying to get this thing to form a fit your to your chamber. This is 3030. Um, pistol brass varies. You know, 357s are usually pretty good, but it's the rifle brass that I run into the most problems with. And this is bulk brass. Check your stuff, even if it's new.